the next one I come to the stage is definitely one of the most dapper men I've ever met in my life. Please welcome to the stage, Steve Kirsch, everybody. <laughs> So recently, my wife and I went to Chicago for our youngest son Tyler's wedding. It was it was really a lovely affair. The food was great, too good. I ate so much at that wedding that if I never ever ate again, I'm pretty sure I would die of old age before I start to death. <laughs> I could get anorexia and no one would notice. <laughs> I ate so much food in Chicago that I had to run home from Chicago. The long way. I went north and came around from the south. I actually work out quite a bit. I, I guess you'd say in terms of working out, I'm a, a pretty strong amateur. But when it comes to eating, I'm a champion. World class. No one's better than me. I gotta be honest with you, my, my weakness in food is anything baked. Cooked, grilled, dipped, rolled up. <laughs> I'm pretty indiscriminate when it comes to eating, so long as the number of calories far outweighs the nutritional value of the food. <laughs> I think it's God's fault. He could have just as easily made chocolate lava cake good for us and Brussels sprouts bad for us with almost no additional effort on his part. <laughs> It's hard to miss a day working out. I find with each day I miss, it gets a little bit easier. <laughs> You've all heard the old joke. What's the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut? About three days. <laughs> well, for me, the difference between working out and not working out is about 30 pounds. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I stopped working out, Goodyear would fly me over NFL football games and NASCAR races. <laughs> Restaurants with all-you-can-eat buffets would put me on their no-dying list. <laughs> Mothers would hide small children from me. <laughs> I wake up at 3.45 every morning, I swear to God. I wake up at 3.45 every morning to go to the gym. And every morning I lay there in bed thinking, what the hell am I doing at 3.45 in the morning awake again? And I think, well, maybe if I just lie here long enough, this urge to work out will pass. Well, it passes all right, only to be replaced by the urge to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Which at my age, I do a lot. But it's a lot harder to come up with an excuse not to go to the gym when you're already out of bed. And then I think, I have an idea. I'll wake my sleeping wife and suggest we have sex. <laughs> Without even opening her eyes, she reminds me not to forget my water bottle and workout bag on the way to the gym. <laughs> I used to run marathons. I gotta tell you, I hated running. In fact, if it didn't feel so good to stop running, I don't think I would have ever laced up my shoes. <laughs> my running days predated Facebook. Now, that's a long time ago, right? Some of you can't imagine life without Facebook. Some of you can't even believe that life doesn't exist if you don't post it on Facebook. <laughs> my son Joshua tells me that if I don't post my workout on Facebook, it doesn't even count as a workout. <laughs> I have no idea why we work out. It could not possibly be because we love that feeling of our lungs about to burst or our hearts going to explode or, or the clothes getting wet and sticking to our skin. Can you imagine going to a doctor with those symptoms? You'd be in an ambulance on the way to the hospital faster than you say heart attack. Well, I work out at a gym called Orange Theory. Apparently, Black Death was already taken. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> I just got it. Really 
you put me in. <laughs> I wish I could share it with you. <laughs> Midway through the competition, a woman by the name of Carla, uh, Kayla, Kayla is, is leading. Kayla couldn't weigh 100 pounds soaking wet. I'm quite certain she has to run around in the shower to get wet. No one is going to catch her unless she does something stupid. You know, kind of like the Atlanta Falcons who last quarter of the Super Bowl. <laughs> So she has what's, it call, what's called in sports, the ball, a 10 point lead and little time left on the clock. No one's gonna catch her. After workout the other day, while the rest of us are trying to catch our breath and see if our hearts are going to explode, I see her sprinting out the front door of the gym, heading right toward Dunkin' Donuts. I think, oh my God, Kayla, you have the ball on a 10 point lead, don't do anything stupid. She comes back with 10 boxes of donuts for her classmates. <laughs> she didn't eat a single donut. I did. I'm a world class eater. I'm a champion. I was eating like I was back in Chicago. Thank you very much. I'm here to go. Where we go, Pop? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank